Thanks for clapping. Um, <laughs> so, oh, hello again. Um, I'm Caitlin. Uh, I'm an animator, and I make stuff that looks like this. So this is um, if Sailor Moon uh, was a frog. Um, so the things that I'm showing you here are mainly things I did quickly for fun, um, but they're probably more representative of what I do than like client stuff, I guess. Um, I actually haven't been animating very long. Uh, it's been about two years, I think. Um, I studied illustration at Camberwell, uh, and that was quite like a broad, loose course, so I ended up making um, very pretentious video art. I'm going to show you some. Um, so here I'm eating seven cheeseburgers dipped in strawberry milkshake. The full video is 14 minutes, so these are the highlights. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, so basically, uh, the minute I graduated, I stopped doing that. Um, <laughs> Uh, and I went back to kind of drawing and I started trying out some animation. Um, so these are some of my first attempts at animating. Uh, some of them were done with a trackpad, which you might be able to tell. Um, so I was getting into animation. I ended up meeting a animation director called Parallel Teeth, uh, also known as Rob Wallace. Um, he was working on this music video for a musician called Merck. Uh, the song's called I'm Easy, and he let me kind of come and work on it with him, which was my first job ever, really. Um, so I got to do, like, some character design, and basically Rob taught me to animate from scratch. Um, one of my housemates referred to him as my drag mother recently, which I think is apt. Um, <laughs> so I also got to know all the people at Strange Beast when I was on this job, and that's who represents me as a director now. So it was quite a formative kind of job for me, but um, today mainly I'm going to talk about my film, and that's called Cold Saw. Um, yeah, so I didn't study animation, so I kind of didn't get to do a grad film, so this is like my equivalent of it. It took a whole year to make, which is quite a long time for something that's only two minutes, uh, but I'll let you watch it now. Cool. Um, <laughs> thank you. Thanks.
Thanks. I uh, hope you liked it. Um, so about the film, um, basically uh, nobody was willing to get off of me until I was in my 20s, and that's kind of the main place that it came from. Um, but also, uh, I really like teen movies, um, so this was kind of my version of a teen rom-com. Uh, so these are just kind of some of my favorites um, that inspired me. Um, so I watched a lot of these kinds of movies when I was a teenager, um, where like there's a female protagonist who is uh, really lame and becomes really hot and popular. Um, and they're kind of bittersweet for me, I guess, because uh, yeah, I was a very awkward teenager. And I think I knew that they were really unrealistic storylines, but I kind of embraced the false hope that they gave me and just sort of expected to randomly become also hot and popular um, just out of nowhere. <laughs> so for Cold Saw, I wanted to make something that was like these teen movies, but a bit more accurate to my experience. Um, and like it was definitely important to me to not have a happy ending, because um, I think actually being a teenager is really shit. And I wanted to vindicate my younger self, I guess. Um, so a large chunk of the film takes place on the internet. Um, I'm a big internet fan. I particularly like uh, observing the behavior of men online, because it's uh, often disgusting. Um, <laughs> so this scene is one of my favorites. It's just her getting messages from all the creepy men. Um, so it's also kind of, throughout the film, there's quite a lot of scenes like this where you probably won't catch all the jokes uh, on first watch, but if you do ever watch it again, then you can go back and pause. Um, my favorite one of these messages is, do you use pad or tampon? Um, I didn't actually come up with that. My producer Kitty did, so thank you, Kitty. <laughs> um, another reason it was really important for me to have the internet play a big part in the film is basically when I was younger, I spent m a lot of my time on like horrible, weird forums talking to freaks. Um, uh, the internet was a lot more anonymous. It was a bit like the Wild West when I was growing up, so uh, it was like a great thing for a socially anxious teenager because you could have these simulations of formative experiences that you were too afraid to have in real life. So like I would stay up all night in these like group video chats with my internet friends or like, I couldn't look a boy in the eyes but I did have several internet boyfriends. Um, but yeah, that's enough about my personal issues. Um, let's talk about making the film. Um, so. Yeah, I work quite spontaneously. I fill in gaps as I go along. I also delete files as I go along because my computer doesn't have enough storage. So uh, I don't have like a huge amount of behind the scenes stuff to show you, but I thought it might be nice to see uh, these original character sketches that I did for the two main characters. You might notice there is a boy in some of them. Uh, originally, there was going to be a boyfriend for the popular girl and they were going to have like a really disgusting makeout session, but I, I don't know how to draw a handsome man, so I got rid of him. Um, so these are just some comparison shots from the animatic and the final thing. Uh, an animatic is just like a moving storyboard. I usually just go straight into animatic because Photoshop's open and it's, yeah, easier. Um, obviously I work very rough in the early stages, so I just thought it might be satisfying for me and for everyone else to see like the transformation that it goes through. Um, another thing I really wanted to talk about is the color palette. Um, so this is the color palette of the film on the top. Uh, it's also just my stock palette, basically. I use it for everything. Um, <laughs> it's kind of girly and childish, which I think works really well for a dark storyline, because I, I don't really like to be sincere or earnest. So um, if you use like a bright, happy color palette, it like avoids becoming like edgy or like really sad when you are actually talking about I guess quite a depressing <laughs> subject. Um, and the image below is a shelf in my bedroom. Uh, basically, I collect toys and knickknacks that I like find on the street or in charity shops. Um, and that's what kind of inspires the color palette. So I think it has that balance of like depressing and happy because these are mainly things that people have thrown away and didn't want anymore, but also they're really fun to look at. Um, yeah. Uh, so I do every frame by hand. I like draw things over and over and over again, and it takes a really long time. Um, so the kind of overall look of my work is like quite unpolished, quite wobbly, um, kind of flickery. Um, 
I do that for a couple of reasons. The first one is that it can hide bad animation, hopefully. Um, so you can get away with a lot more if everything's all over the place all the time. Uh, also, it's kind of just relaxing. So once you've got all the animation done, you can just like spend two days coloring in a shot. And I guess it's kind of like those adult coloring books. Um, but it's my job, which is cool. Um, <laughs> also, I guess it just feels a bit more human than if it was like really slick and digital. And it, you can kind of tell that someone was really sitting there and doing it um, for a year. <laughs> um, so the final thing I wanted to leave you with is my favorite review of the film. Um, I have censored out all of the like really racist, anti-Semitic stuff um, with that really nice Photoshop brush, but um, I wish he'd left this comment separately because I, I, I would have liked to keep it up. Um, so it says, truly grotesque, unwatchable, uncomfortable, hurts to view this, gives intelligent people diarrhea. The feeling I get while watching this is like the exact opposite of really good endorphins. Hopefully you know what endorphins are. It's the feeling you get when someone rubs fingers through your hair. <laughs> this film is the opposite. This is just pain and vomit and uncomfortable. Um, so I hope you feel the same. Um, uh, thank you. <laughs>